Hello friends, welcome to Crack Kids CSE. And in this particular video, I will be providing you some suggestions so that you can improve your speed as well as maintain the accuracy at the same time. These suggestions will be very helpful for any kind of exam. So my suggestion is to watch this complete video. You will be definitely getting something new over here and it will be definitely helpful for you all. And if you find this particular video useful, do not forget to like this video and in case if you are having any suggestions, mention those suggestions in the comment. Or if you want to create me the video on any other topic that you have in your mind, just let me know that particular topic so that I can assist you with that as well. So first start with the first thing. So first thing is you have to make sure that you check both faces of a coin. What is the meaning of both faces of a coin? That means you have to focus on your speed and accuracy not only while writing the exam but you have to focus on it before writing the exam as well so in this video i'll be bringing some preparation tips that you can follow to increase your speed and accuracy before exam and while writing the exam so first thing is let's talk about the before exam so how you can increase and increase your speed and accuracy before the exam so first thing you have, you have to do is you have to uh, enroll yourself in a good test series what well, test series are important because test series will allow you will make a habit of yours so that you can complete a given number of questions in a particular amount of time for uh, let's cancel your exam is of uh, three hours and you are having around 65 questions i'm talking about the gate question paper and in case if you have any other question paper that is also okay so the test series will allow you to try all the questions in the limited time that's why the test series are very important and my personal suggestion is to enroll only in one test series, not in many test series. Because most of the students enroll two, three, four test series, but they are not able to utilize those test series efficiently. So my uh, sincere suggestion is enroll only in first one test series and utilize that particular test series in an efficient manner. You have to attempt all the tests of the test series. Try not to skip any of the tests of the test series. Do not focus on marks because initially there might be some chances that you are getting very low marks. So don't focus on the marks on the initial stage of the test series. Try to focus on the mistakes that you are doing. So whatever the mistakes you are doing, try not to repeat those mistakes in the future. Because it's okay if you are doing some mistakes. It's very possible. It's very often that we'll be making some mistakes. But from those mistakes, you have to learn something. You have to learn that why you did those mistakes, what are the root cause of those mistakes and try not to repeat that mistakes again. If you make a habit of analyzing your mistake and if you try not to repeat those mistakes again, then you can see gradually your performance will be increased in a particular test series, right? And always try to solve the questions using the traditional method because if you are following the traditional method, that will help you in building the concept so that you can uh, remind those con uh, concepts for long hours right because if you move on to the shortcut before knowing the traditional method then it might lead to the negative marking or miscalculation so first make your grip on the traditional method and once your grip is complete on the traditional method you can move on to the shortcut if you want right Next thing is revise all the questions that you have made mistakes or not adapted. Because while giving a test in a test series, there might be a chances that you did some questions wrong or you are not able to attempt some questions. So revise all these questions in a periodic manner. Note down such questions for the later revision and try to revise those questions at least twice and if possible, thrice. And if any question is taking more time, Let's say there is some question which is taking around five to six minutes. Try to skip these kind of questions which are taking more time and reserve these questions in the end. And once all the questions you have completed in your test, then you can move on to such questions which are taking time, right? And review all the answers at the time of submitting. So when your complete, your test is completed, try to review all the answers and make sure you have not misselected the options right so always make a habit of using the virtual calculator because most of the time what students do is 
they are giving a test series but they try to use the mobile calculator which is not a good option so try to make a habit of using the virtual calculator not the external one because in exam you have to use the virtual calculator or the scientific calculator that is given along with the dashboard right and apart from the test series when you are practicing the previous year questions whether it is a gate or any other exam always try to challenge yourself always give yourself a time slot and try to solve maximum question and that particular time slot that will increase your uh, speed right and if you keep on revising your mistakes that you are doing that will give you the accuracy so these are the steps or the tips that you have to consider before exam but what to do when you are actually writing the exam then whenever you are writing an exam whether it is a test series or any actual exam first of first thing that make sure you have a habit of reading the questions carefully and in case if you are not able to understand the question in first attempt try to read the question twice i always suggest that you read a question twice so that the particular uh, objective of the questions will be fitted in your mind and always try to keep an eye on the options as well because options can give you the real help and these options can save a lot of time while you are trying to solve the questions because sometimes these options give you some what hint that what actually needs to be done what are the parameters which are useful what are the parameters which are not useful which are given in the question so always try to eliminate the options if you are having four options always try to eliminate the option try to narrow down the possibilities of getting the right answer and one thing very important do not try to rush always take a deep breath before starting the starting the exam uh, solve around 5 to 10 questions in a slow manner and once you are comfortable with everything then you can try to increase your speed initially do not try to rush because initially if you starting start uh, if you rushing to solve the question then it may often leads to the silly mistakes and if you ask any topper for any exam he will give you this suggestion only that do not make any silly mistake right and one very important thing if your exam is having any negative marking then strictly avoid the guesswork because this guesswork can lead to the negative mark and if there is a difference of one mark then it can lead to the loss of 100 ranks right so do not try to uh, guess the answer of a particular question right so if you are if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and if you find this this video is somewhat helpful for you please like this video and give your suggestions in the comment box just follow these simple practices and add them in your study plan and try to uh, implement these uh, tips in your regular study plan best of luck for exam and in case if you are looking for any study material related to gate i am having some playlists which are available on my channel you can watch these playlists and in case if you are having any new topic in your mind mind that you want me to create the videos just mention that particular topic in the comment box and i will be trying my best to assist you also thank you very much for your time keep supporting keep learning have a great day